Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to reset your game world without going into New Game Plus One in Lords of the Fallen. Tonight the devs put out a new update, like the 30th one this week, allowing players to reset their quests and story progress without having to face enemies on a harder difficulty. It's a really nice feature and you get to keep all your items as long as it's not a quest item, and I'll show you that in a moment. First thing you want to do is load up your character that's beaten the game, as long as you've gotten one of the endings you will get access to this feature. So the way they implemented it is a little misleading. You need to go to a vestige and click on the new game plus one option. When this screen pops up, it makes it sound like once you accept this prompt that you're fully committing to a new new game plus run like you're familiar with from the other Souls games. But to actually use this reset feature, you just need to accept the prompt and then you'll be greeted with another screen telling you that you have the option to just reset your story and quests or go into a completely new game. Once you pick an option here, your decision is final. So if you don't want the game to be more difficult and would rather knock out achievements and quests that you missed, select the Restart Game Zero option. It does mention that selecting the New Game Plus One option will remove all the vestiges, but this Thursday they're releasing another patch that will only get rid of a few vestiges on your first New Game Plus run instead of all of them. By New Game Plus Three, I believe all of the ancient vestiges will be gone, but at least for your first two runs, it won't be as brutal as it is currently. But that's not something that you have to worry about if you're just restarting New Game Zero. All of the vestiges will be available to you like normal. So once you load into the tutorial area, you can see that all of your weapons are here, all of your armor, your pendants, runes, consumables, tinks, gestures, etc. The only items that were removed were the ones relating to your quests. Although you do keep the shrimp, the saintly quintessence, rebirth chrysalis, and your upgrade materials, which is nice. So yeah, you're free to go ahead and reset your world now and start wrecking bosses. I've got a bunch of quest guides already up on my channel with more on the way soon, so feel free to check out the playlist in the description and in the outro if you want some easy to follow guides. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.